Alright, so what can you do about your mercenary constantly dying? You can bug them. If you've heard about bugged mercenaries or you haven't, essentially what it means is that your mercenary uh, cannot be targeted by melee attacks anymore once you bug them. They can still be targeted by ranged attacks and spells, however, so they're not invincible. Uh, so, this is my mercenary right now. I have not bugged. So, I go to the cow level, for example. It's the best uh, place to show you guys what happens. And, yeah. Let's see how long he survives. And he's dead. So, this is essentially what happens in the cow level and pretty much in a lot of places in hell. So, what you can do about this is bug them. And it's super, super simple to yes. do. So you get your mercenary, and the best place you can do this is going to be the inner cloister. And I'm going to explain to you why this is the best place. So essentially what you do is you come here, and you stand behind one side. And you, let it, you, you have to make him stay on one side, right? And then you just close the door. And you walk away to this side, or, you know, far away. For him to teleport to you. And he just teleported. So now. I can go back to the cow level. And you can see what happens. Now. The cows just have no interest in him. Whatsoever. He can be in the middle of all the cows. And nothing will happen to him. So. The cows cannot be cannot target him. Anymore. Because they're, they're melee right. Let's just say I go to River Flame, where there's a bunch of ranged attacks, right? And you can see that when I get into the Chaos Sanctuary, right here, for example, he can still be targeted by this guy. As you can see, this guy is hitting him, but the melee guys are not. So, again, he's not invincible, but it greatly increases his survivability. Okay, so why is the inner cloister the best place? Well, you go to the inner cloister and right as you leave the waypoint, there's a door right next to you. It's just mainly about the convenience. Also, there's no monsters to deal with. You just walk in, close the door, boom, and he's bugged. So, that being said, you can do it anywhere with doors. For example, you are here in the jail level, right? You can just walk through this, lock him in. Well, lock him in. And now you just walk away far enough. You can see the X right here. As soon as that X disappears, he will teleport to you. So you have to walk a little bit farther away. But as you can see, there's this trick here. There's doors, there's enemies that you have to deal with. So while it can work, it's essentially the same exact thing. You're still bugging him. This is just way too easy, right? You just come in through the, through the waypoint, boom, doors right there, bug him, get out. Why would you not want to bug your mercenary? Well, as you saw in the cow level, once you once you don't once you bug him, the cows are all attacking you now. So he takes absolutely no aggro for you. And that's a problem. It can be a problem depending on where you are. For example, if you are in let's say the lower Korost. Very good example actually. When I come to the lower Korost, my guy is never bugged. And this is because there's a lot of nasty, nasty enemies here. And uh, I want him to take aggro. I want him to lead them away from me. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble because I'm trying to teleport, open up chests. And if they're all swarming me, as you can see, they just hit, they hit so hard. Uh, then that's a problem. It just makes my job of finding stuff a lot harder. Because all I'm trying to do is pop chests open, collect the stuff. And yeah, if, if my guy is not distracting them, then they're all on me and they just... It's very, very annoying and potentially very deadly. Let's say you need your mercenary to uh, kill an enemy that is resistant to something, right? Let's say you went cold, the enemy is cold immune, and you don't have any secondary spec into a firewall or whatever, any kind of other spell besides cold spells. Then you're going to need your mercenary to be able to deal with those enemies. Let's say you're doing the ancients, right? So when you're doing the ancients, you're going to need your mercenary to kill some of the ancients or at least one of the ancients. Unless, again, you have a secondary specialization like, like I do in Faro and you can slowly deal with them by yourself. But if you don't, if you need your mercenary and you don't bug him, 
the ancients will one-shot him. So, you should bug him. And when you do bug him, suddenly, the ancients are not interested in him, and he can just deal damage. And then, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about him instantly dying, and then you can kill the, the ancients that you can kill, and then he's going to finish off the one that you can't. Very simple, go behind a door, close it, uh, close your guy behind the door, walk away far enough to where he teleports, and then that's it. It doesn't always work, sometimes he's not bugged, and you can easily test that by, you know, seeing if uh, melee enemies are attacking him. If they still are, just go and repeat the same thing, and he will get bugged. I hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed this, I, I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Good luck, have fun, and thank you for watching.